Many times platform users are concerned about launching CBOTs and indicators requesting full access rights to their device. Especially when no source code is available, it is difficult to know for sure what the algorithm is doing with these permissions. Therefore, as a matter of principle, it is advised that CBOTs and indicators should receive no access rights unless absolutely necessary. In this video, we will demonstrate how to operate with files without the need for elevated permissions. One of the new features of CTrader Automate is that it allows CBOTs and indicators to use the CBOT local directory without elevated permissions. Let's create an example and demonstrate how we can read and write files in our CBOT directory. Let's create a new CBOT and name it Red Write Example. In the onStart method, we will write some code that will write text in a file. We begin with adding a reference to the system.io namespace, which contains the relevant classes and methods that will allow us to program read and write operations. Next, we call the file.writeAllText method to save a string in a file. We specify the file name and the text we want to write to the file. Let's build the CBOT, add an instance, and run it. We can see that the file is saved in the CBOT's dedicated folder, which is located inside the documents backslash CALGO backslash data backslash CBOT's folder. The next step is to read the contents of the file. We will modify the code accordingly. Let's build and run the CBOT again. We can see that the CBOT reads the information and prints in the log. As we have seen up to now, our CBOT does not request any permissions to write and read information to and from the dedicated directory. The access rights are set to none. Let's try to write in a different folder and see what happens. We modify our code to write the file in the root of the documents directory. Let's build and run the CBOT again. We can see an exception thrown in the log indicating that we are not authorized to write in the specific directory. We will go back to our CBOT and change the access rights to full access. We will build and run the CBOT again. We will provide the necessary rights and we will see that the exception is not thrown anymore. If we check the relevant directory, we will see that the file has been successfully saved. We will modify the code to read the file and print it in the log, to show that reading also works with full access.
At last, let's set the access rights back to none, build and rerun the CBOT. We can see that the CBOT fails to read the file. We hope that you found the video helpful. Feel free to ask any questions at the bottom of this video and subscribe to be updated when we publish a new video.